Hi, I'm Irina Kostakescu, software engineer at NXP Semiconductors. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the controller area network, otherwise known as the CAN bus. Today's vehicles can contain over 70 electronic control units, also known as nodes, that control subsystems for the engine, power steering, anti-lock brakes, and more. Communication between these subsystems is critical to ensure the reliability and safety demanded in the automotive market. In the past, the nodes were connected by dedicated analog signal wires, which was architecturally complex and costly. In 1986, the controller area network, or CAN, was standardized, allowing in-vehicle nodes to communicate via multiplex wiring rather than dedicated ones. Let's take a high-level look at the main benefits of CAN and why they make CAN the most widely used in-vehicle communication network today. First, CAN is low cost because each ECU in a vehicle is able to communicate with the rest of the network via a single CAN interface, the cost and architectural complexity are significantly decreased. The CAN bus also makes for easier design upgrades, conserving precious engineering time. CAN is efficient. The protocol is message-based, meaning every node on the network can send and receive messages and can determine if a message is relevant to them or should be ignored. Only one message can be transmitted on the CAN bus at a given time. An arbitration ID within the CAN frame indicates message priority, allowing higher priority messages to continue with no delay, while lower priority messages wait thus avoiding message corruption caused by collisions. And speaking of corruption, CAN is reliable. The CAN specification contains five methods of error checking, making it extremely reliable for applications where failure is not an option. CAN is also robust. Its high-speed data lines are resistant to electrical disturbances, some CAN controllers and receivers also come in extended temperature ranges or fault-resistant varieties for the most demanding environments. Lastly, CAN is flexible. Because it is a message-based protocol, the nodes on the network contain no identifying information associated with them. This allows nodes to be added or removed from the system without any hardware or software modification to be done. Because of these benefits, there is no wonder CAN is the network of choice for ECU and sensor communication in nearly all automotive applications today. It is also growing in popularity in many industrial applications, where the same reliability, robustness and flexibility are required, including building automation, medical devices, aviation and many more. NXP has been building CAN transceivers and integrated CAN controllers since the CAN specification was released over 25 years ago. To learn more details about how CAN works and the NXP solutions to get you started on your CAN application, please visit community.nxp.com/can.